Try Soturi Plus. Okay, okay, guys. Uh, very good Friday. Very good Friday, to everybody. Hello. Hey, hey hello. Minasan, Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Hi. Today I'm with Ting Fu. Today my partner changed already. Ah, today is Ting Fu. Yeah, steady boy. Yeah. Okay, okay. So wow. today we are in Victor Stream, man. I'm on in Victor Stream. People gonna interview me, eh? Hey. Wow, wow. Wait, wait. Okay, okay. To be honest, today nah. is the first time I have a guest that's more energetic than me. Uh, no la. <laughs> no, because it's I not to say that you're not energetic, lah. Okay, but but he, but he's really very bubbly. No, nah, because he's like uh, when I look at I watch a lot of the Victor Streams, right? Oh. Like everybody very serious, uh, Talking about their product, talking about their craft. Okay. But to me, it's all about fun. Yeah, correct. It's all correct. about fun that got me here. Or, or, or do you like yeah. like do like did two shots of coffee with uh, No la, just now you saw it from zero to hundred. Yeah, since just now I was sitting here like quiet. Wow. Very fast. Very interesting. Yeah, so this, very interesting. Yeah. Okay, okay. So so guys, today for TGIF, mm. right, I have Liner. Hey, hi everyone. Yeah, he's um if you guys watch all the city music streams, uh most most of the time you're there, right? Uh for the past year, I guess. How uh, many percent? Like uh, 70 percent. percent. I mean, it's still a group effort, lah. Yeah, it's yeah, still a group yeah, effort, yeah. I can't do it alone. Correct, I still correct, got my partner correct. Kamal. Still got Timothy here. <laughs> still got all the other guys here. That's also doing mm, their part mm. for uh, every of the stream that City Music Music does, la. Okay, okay. Yeah, but, yeah. But apart from the City Music stream, mm. right? You mm. also have a channel called Splash Pop Junkie, right? Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. I'm uh, also a content creator on YouTube. Mm. Um, basically, uh, my my content creation started in twenty one three. Wow. Yeah, wow. 21.3. Uh, How did you get started? It wasn't actually called Smash Pop Junkie. Okay. It was actually called Guitar Junkie TV. Oh. So it's mainly around doing music covers and mm. stuff like that. So it just evolved you know, through the years. Then um, I first started out because uh, my daughter, mm. who loves K-pop, she loves K-pop. Oh. So I wanted to connect with her. So I like, okay, I need, I want to use music to bridge that con uh, the connection with my daughter. Okay. So I was like, okay. Let's do some covers. All this uh, Korean band sounds easy enough. I used to play a lot of heavy metal stuff. So it's like, mm. again, uh, this one, no problem. Uh. So I started learning songs. Then I realized that eh, I could learn this spot on. Then I started oh. posting videos of uh, K-pop covers. Okay. Then from there, it evolved. Uh, I started with CN Blue. There's this Korean band. Mm, mm. Uh, then I started doing a lot of the covers. And I did only that them. I didn't want to touch anything else. So I did almost every song that they ever did release. Oh, wow. Then moved on, then the FT Island, then after that, uh, moved on to J-Rock, J-Pop, uh, 1OK Rock. Mm. Then I think when I moved over to 1OK Rock, that's when my channel started to really grow. Okay. Yeah, then, yeah, I did that for many years. It was a very painful. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit painful because it's like uh, every song that I did the cover on the, my channel is actually learned by year. None mm -hmm. of them is learned by tabs. You can't find the tabs online. You have to figure out all by yourself. Everything by ear. Because I was, I was brought up in a generation of musicians where uh, I had no money to buy tabs. I was okay. too lazy to study music theory. Okay. So I was here. I was have my cassette tape. Yeah. You know, cassette tape, CD, put it on, listen, listen, play, you know, watch people play. Then uh, I realized that, hey, I have this talent for mm -hmm. listening to music and replicating. Uh, according to my, uh, uh, provided my, my technical ability to play the song. Mm. So I translated that, put it on stream, put it on videos, uh, posted it on YouTube, mm. and then it started to grow, surprisingly. Wow. Yeah, it started to grow. 
Then uh, yeah, then here after I think like about two or three years ago, just before the pandemic, then uh, I decided I want to do other things. Now mm. I want I don't just want to do like cover videos because a lot of the, the the videos are not monetized. Mm, it's mm. Co- copyright ID matching and stuff like that. So I said okay, let's do something without getting copyright strikes. Then mm. yeah, then I moved on to you no know, tech reviews, uh, a bit of gaming. Uh, be out of this here and there, so I decided to change the name to Smash Pop Junkie, which isn't so generic. Mm. So I suppose that I I'm not stuck with the cliche of guitars. I could mm-hmm, do other mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah, then Smash Pop Junkie. Then I then uh, explored you no know, uh, tech reviews, explored gaming, uh, a lot of other things now, unboxing and stuff like that. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, then here I am today, doing this. <laughs> <laughs> no, but 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 it is, it is very very important. So so mm. you 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 have almost close to fifteen years of. Oh. Ah, so long already ah. wow. I mean we so long ah. 21 3 yeah oh, why? Hey, about 9 years 9 years 9 years sorry sorry my max feel about, about 9 years <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah about about nine everybody, years. everybody call me engineer so I do sound and don't need to count uh. Uh, can I can't count I might check 1 2 1 2 that's <laughs> one the maximum count. Yeah. sorry okay but but how long did it really take to hit 20, 20k plus of fans? Um, the initial part was really tough. I think mm. for any content creator, mm. the initial part is super tough. It's very disheartening to to see your subscribers level don't grow. Mm. One month later, two months later, don't grow. Then suddenly you do something right. Then you start to, start to see a few a few subs, mm. you know, it's a bit more traction. Then yeah, then they follow up on that. Then suddenly just grow. So it does take take a lot of time. Mm-hmm. It does take mm-hmm. a lot of time. Yeah. So uh I think also the initial part I struggled with a lot with technical stuff. Oh. A good technical stuff is like, like, like what? Like what? I mean, I, I love mm. all these kind of struggle mm. story, right? You're like also, right? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, yeah. So so what are the struggles that you yeah, let, let's see. Yeah. See so it's like I always watch a lot of uh other mm-hmm, people's mm-hmm. guitar covers. Then I look at it as like, why are they doing this way? Why they use their camera, just put there, use phone audio to record everything. Mm. Through a ten five watt M, you know, with yeah. the phone playing in the background and then playing, then it's, you don't hear it well. You is the the sound quality is so poor. The playing might be good, mm. but the sound mm. quality is so poor. The production value is very poor. Mm. The background you can see the single bit haven't do up. <laughs> and this <laughs> they haven't do up. They got yeah. clothes hanging around everything. Okay, you know, then it's like okay, let's not do whatever these people are doing. Let's take it a step up. Okay. No, that's why I, I experimented with different hardware that I could use to project my audio, mix it together with the, um, the song that I was covering, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. get proper lighting, understand lighting, you know, understand background, understand exposure. I, I was like zero knowledge of all this stuff. Wow. Zero. Uh, until I think the other day, Ying Long, we were at Gamer Summit. Ying Long asked me, we were, we were looking at none lights and everything. Mm. Then Ying Long was saying, what do you use? What kind of lights do you use for your videos? He was stunned when I told him what kind of lights. You know, you go to the durian store, people, JB, the big white color box. Yeah. I used that. I used that. Because oh. I had no money to buy really expensive lights. You okay. Know? So I bought f- four uh, durian lights. Wow. 200 watt durian lights. Can you imagine what kind of my electric, my electricity bill? Yeah, but 200, oh, 200 watt is... Yeah, CFL right. lights. You know, right. I just know that I need to get CFL lights, white color, mm. because I wanted a infinite white background. So I, I went to Ikea, I buy a blind, a very white okay. color blind. Okay. Stuff it on top of my cupboard. Let it hang down. Four lights on each end. Then I invested in one softbox. Mm. That's it. Wow. That's it. So I let the four lights do the, the white, uh, white background. Yeah. Then one light on myself. That's it. Uh, I started okay. with that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That, that reminded me. Okay. Uh, during COVID period, when I was doing live stream, I don't, I don't, there was one period of time where I have a white color background. Mm-hmm. Do you know how I did that? How? I have a 150 cm auto box behind me. Ah. Uh-huh. And then I use that as my background. Ah, okay. Yeah, but it works, works uh, You know what I mean? It works. It yeah, works. it works. It works. I, I mean, I mean, I mean, it's like a. It's like, dude, you have a hundred and fifty cm auto box, um, adding chrome, <laughs> the expensive uh videography, mm-hmm. uh photography kind of kind of kind of studio light, and then mm-hmm. I use that as a background. And everybody was like, <laughs> wow. So you, I mean, uh, you don't need to spend a lot of money, you know. Actually, that was, that was expensive. Yeah, <laughs> that that was, uh, yeah, you don't really need to spend a lot of money. Yeah. You can get innovative. Yeah. If you understand certain principles of how mm-hmm. things are done. It can be done, you know. It can be done. So yeah, I even till today I still have the durian lights. Nice. Because I've, I I didn't want to struggle with changing stuff and experimenting. Yeah. So yeah. there's always a part of me where, uh, there's the creative side, mm-hmm. the technical mm-hmm. aspect, 
uh, you don't want to dive too much into the technical thing until you get so burnt out that you don't yeah. want to do yeah. things anymore. Yeah, so I decided don't change this DVD as it is. So I still have my Durian lights at home. Oh, yeah, okay. four Durian lights, okay. one four softbox. Lights, yeah, one softbox. That's wow. all. That's all. Yeah, oh. it works lah. But of course, it could be better. Mm. Uh, then, uh, then after that came the they doing the arrow when the first started off. I recorded everything in 1080. Mm. So uh, my camera only allowed me to record in 1080. Then after that, I upgraded to something that I could record in 4K. But I still publish in 1080. Okay. Because I record in 4K, so it gives me more room to do editing. Mm. You know, uh, mm. last time 1080, you zoom a bit, only what pixelated already. Mm. You know, yeah. So at least with 4K, I know I have four times more space for me to to do. Uh, I would say can burns the effect, okay. do can okay. effect, do cropping and everything. So it doesn't really affect the quality that much. It uh. does improve, lah. Yeah. Okay, guys, you know, uh, please 4K. Mm. Not because you know you want to take out on memory, but yeah, is is worth it. It's yeah, worth I don't, I don't know. This is always this argument about recording and publishing in 4K. Yeah. Does it help your workflow in 4K? Your, uh, your, your, when you're doing your rendering, it's going to be like four times longer. Yeah, Unless right. your computer is super duper fast. That's why sure. we are in 720 now. Ah, yeah, in 720 as long as easier. it works. Mm. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> yeah. So then, yeah, then I experimented with audio. How do I okay. capture audio on a guitar? Because I'm mainly a guitarist. Yeah. So then yeah, I invested in a used audio interface. Mm. No, then after that, I uh, figured out, oh, it could be done this way. I could merge it into a door. That's why I learned about doors as well. Mm-hmm. Then okay, what is what is a door? So you see the door mm, that we not door D A W yeah. So D A W stands for Digital Audio Workstation. Ah. Okay, so this is basically this is like a garage band. So if you're a Mac owner, uh, you probably have a garage band installed mm-hmm. in your Macintosh already. So it basically helps you to capture sounds in the real okay. world, convert them into digital format. Okay. Put it down for you in on your screen, and you can do some editing. Okay. Yeah. So so for the Windows people, right? Mm. Uh, something that's free will be like um. Mm. Uh, what are the few ways that you use? Audacity, Audacity is free. Uh, Audacity is uh, free. Audacity, but some people say it's not really a door, but mm. can I? It work also. La, you, you, it la. works, right? Yeah. I, mean, I mean, if you guys don't pay for mm. it, don't complain. Yeah. 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 No, but now this is like, uh, for starting points, mm. uh, a lot of content creators, they would definitely need one thing, which is either audio interface, a mixer board, or whatever mm. it is. Uh, huh? At least just the one, one basic thing you need is one of those. Okay. Usually, this hardware, they will throw in free door. Ah. Okay, the door is okay. Probably not a full version, but a light version. Like for example, if you buy some products, they give you Ableton Live, mm-hmm. the light version that can be used also mm. as well. Uh, Pro Tools first is no longer in production, but I, I best they will have replacement in the future as well. Mm-hmm. So there are a lot of ways to do it. If you're a Mac user, yeah, GarageBand is absolutely free. Yeah, yeah, free. So just use it. Yeah, it's already there. So that's yep. a good DAW door that you can use for you not know, editing uh, music. Basically, easy la. easy, easy one. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. I think my for myself, sorry, I did a lot of trial and error. Mm. I, I didn't have a circle of friends who were content creators. Okay. Uh, and then I did really about exploring, mm. make a lot of mistakes, but that's the way I learn things. I made a lot of mistakes true, in order true. to learn. La. True. Yeah, I always learn things the hard way. Eh? You don't fall, <laughs> you 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 don't you don't learn. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. I took a lot of falls. Yeah, I took a lot of falls. I no wonder you you're so fit now. No la, <laughs> no fit. <laughs> la. <laughs> So uh, like initially when I did videos, I did it against a a wall, a green color wall. Oh. And it was so the the space was really small, just maybe slightly less than this table. Okay. I squeeze okay. everything in one frame. Okay. When I play, I make sure I I don't any other move. Mm. You know. Then I learned about different camera switching. So I think if people have watched my videos, uh, you see that wow, I got like five different six different angles. Wow. Okay. Then they were saying, oh, what camera are you using? Uh? five or six? No, I just use one camera. Oh. Yeah, just one. So I you 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 redo the take. Yeah, correct. Uh. Because I played everything so precise, <sighs> and so precise. I learned everything precise. Okay. And I played everything on time. Okay. So whichever take it was, it would be the same thing. Okay. Okay. It would be the same thing. So. Uh, you play with a click? Uh no, I don't play with click. Oh, then how do you take everything on time? Can, can be on time. Really? Yeah, it can be on time. Oh. Of course, you'll be have a bit of discrepancy here and there. Okay. okay. Not unless you really are going to be hey, why this one like that? Okay, yeah. guys, uh, if you want to see a, 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 <laughs> a, a making video, you know, let us, let us know in the comments, then we will see whether we can we can volunteer him to do wow. that. Yeah. I think, uh, actually, I did one down here. Really? Uh, one of the city music streams. Uh-huh. Uh, I did a short one minute video on stream mm. from start to finish. Wow. So if you look back, if you go to City Music's Facebook page, you can look back to some of the stream. There was one episode where I talked about uh, recording uh, how to make a video. Mm-hmm. I did that, but it was a quick one-minute one. 
Yeah, it was the song okay. I wrote for for a particular vi- uh, particular video for City Music. Okay. So I did that one minute thing, a quick chop video, mm. two scenes. Yeah, you can see okay. that. Yeah, it's there. Okay, so all oh, close City, what camera are you using now? Uh, my first camera was a Canon T3i. Oh. T3i, I used that for quite a, I think about two years or so. Mm-hmm. Then after that, I changed to the Panasonic FZ1000. Yeah, so I, uh, the only reason I changed for the FZ1000 was because one, it was in a very affordable price range. Number two, it could shoot 4K, 60, uh, 60 frames. Then also, the zoom is crazy uh, for the FZ1000. Ah, it's crazy. Okay. So like, uh, I, I can, I knew that one was quite okay. Then yeah, I'm still using it today. Uh, Cliff, if you're watching this, never mind. I will tag the marketing guy from nah. the <laughs> Hey, uh, Cliff, if you want ambassador, <laughs> wow. you can. Can, can, can. Uh, can, can, can. Okay, this one. No Are we talking about Canon? Uh, no, no Cliff is on Panasonic. Panasonic, uh, like, uh, Panasonic. Uh, okay, uh, Canon. You want to reach out to me also, can uh? <laughs> I open uh, uh, free free agent uh. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 we, we, okay. I, I mean, I mean, we are very candid over yeah. here. We, 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 we share a lot yeah. of things and everything. I think people who know me as City Music knows that whenever I go on the stream, I was ne- I'm never serious. Uh. <laughs> they don't take me seriously. Uh. I'm never okay. serious. The only okay. time I was serious was at Gamer Summit. You know, oh. because that I was like, okay, a legit thing to do. Everyone's being professional. Don't be a goof, you know. Okay. But usually on stream, yeah, this is how yeah. I am. This is me, uh. <laughs> okay, okay, so yeah, so I think now content creation, I tend to slow down already. Mm. I was a bit burnt out, lah. Okay. My my process. Can you imagine? My I have over a hundred videos on my channel. Mm. Every single one of the audio ones had to learn by year. Mm. So the whole process started from Monday. I even had like a schedule. Monday start learning that song that you want to do. Okay. Okay. Sometimes the song I have never heard before. Oh, wow. Okay, it's very, very foreign. So like when I'm driving, I'll just, the thing on loop. Ah. Mm. Get it in, get it in, try to listen to the parts. Then after that, later on, uh, last time in my office, I will, uh, during my lunch break, pull out my guitar, start learning. Every day, you'll learn about like 45 minutes, 15 minutes, 45 minutes, learn, 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 learn. On Friday is where I'll do the shoot. So wow. Friday, I'll do the shoot. On Saturday, I'll do the post production, and on Sunday I'll Your post. post. On oh. ev- so basically, it's every Sunday I'll post. Wow! So it's strategic. Like every Sunday okay. at eight PM, this is where I'll post. Okay. Yeah. So I repeated that for at least three years. Wow! I was totally burned out. Totally yeah, yeah. Burned it's out. not okay. I mean, to be honest, why is right? Like usually you end work like maybe seven. Mm-hmm, correct. Reach home maybe at eight. Exactly. Then you eat. Correct. Wash up. Mm-hmm. You know, take care of the kids, take mm-hmm. care of the wife. Yeah, correct. very important family. Yeah, work life balance, and mm-hmm. then after that, your your battery, your personal Flat human already. battery is like is in red range. Yeah, you know? correct. Yeah, yeah, ten percent or or less. Exactly, but actually, I'm very lucky. I'm very lucky that my wife is super supportive of what I do. Okay, she gives me my space. She says, uh, "I'm going to do a video. Okay, let me get the kids out. Do mm-hmm. what you need to do. You know, uh, which is I'm very grateful for that. That my mm-hmm. my wife is super supportive of yeah. what I do." Happy wife, happy life. Yeah. Supportive wife, happy life. Happy husband, happy wife also. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. yeah so I, this is I kind of slow down already. Mm-hmm. Uh, one is because I think uh, I have stopped for quite a while. Mm. Then right now when I go back, I think my base has already a bit shifted a bit already. Mm. Um, then also, yeah, I don't have the time to do it so lah. Okay. The, the real time to really put in to, to go and do videos. That's really, really time consuming. Yeah, yeah, very, very time consuming. But it's the gratification is really high. Uh. Mm. Now knowing that I started from zero and then uh, I mean twenty k is not a lot, but uh, it is still something, you know. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's still something, okay. and uh, you you feel that your work was recognized. Yeah, you know, uh, this is one thing. The fun fact: I was just telling Kamal the other day. Out of since twenty one three, I was making videos until today. People always think that oh, YouTuber earn a lot of money. Uh, earn a lot of money. Depend on what you do. For mm-hmm. mine, most of my videos are not monetized because they all have content ID match. Mm-hmm. So whatever revenue I earn on YouTube is given to the record company. Mm. Yeah, but after I did my Smash Pop Junkie thing and did some unboxing videos, uh, not bad. Uh. I just got my first YouTube paycheck. Uh. Wow! A few days ago, only just my very first YouTube paycheck, nice. and it wasn't a big amount, but I was like, okay, now that you're here after so long, yeah, yeah, because I never did, I never did want to do it for money. But after when you're getting burned out, then mm. you ask yourself that question: Why am I getting in return? Nothing. <laughs> true. True. Yeah, but now yeah, uh, just a couple of days ago, yeah, okay. they they just gave me my first payout. I I I okay. So so something very interesting. I was talking to we. I had 
a conversation like this mm-hmm. with and now my good friend uh, Mong from Vietnam he's mm-hmm. uh, Canon ambassador and 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 he's the, like, the biggest wedding guy in Vietnam mm-hmm. and 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 then you know his personal YouTube is like not a lot like maybe five to six k but mm-hmm. but he is the man for the influence on that kind of thing mm-hmm. but you just tell we were, we were talking about content creation mm-hmm. so he's like Fu, try you got nothing to lose mm-hmm. and don't think about money yeah yeah correct correct yeah yeah if you go into that approach without thinking about money mm-hmm. you probably create more mm-hmm. yeah you probably do the things you love more as well yeah with smash pop junkie i actually try to revert into let's do this to earn money oh and that okay. sucked that sucked because okay. i had to do a lot of things that i didn't like Okay. I wasn't comfortable with. And that one of them was like putting a camera in front of me, solo speak about a product. And that's not easy. That's not easy. Not and easy. like reading off, uh, trying to read off points mm-hmm. by not looking like you're reading off points is so mm-hmm. difficult. So like my colleague, Mike Mayuni, he bro, uh, he off the bat go, settle two takes. Wow. You know? Yeah. So it's like sometimes when I look at people who MC and people who present, they're like, wow, how the hell they do it, man? Okay. One shot. You see those like uh, those variety show one, uh, those MCs uh, like water d- 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 life. Done. I think I, I guess it's practice. Practice also, yeah. And practice and also plays a Getting part. used to the pace. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah. I mean I mean it's not easy it's not easy. I mean I mean okay, do all the content creators out there thumbs up for you guys because yeah, you guys are Respect. amazing. It's not it not not easy. It's really not, not easy. easy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean even that, like reading off a teleprompter, like the day I was watching Mike my uni doing uh. the recording through a teleprompter. I was standing there looking like, how can he... Okay, reading out the teleprompter is fine, but you need to have expression also. Yeah, you don't want to look correct, fake, correct. right? You don't want to look like a zombie. You don't want to look like a zombie. You don't want to yeah. talk like a zombie. You want it to be natural. So it's yeah. like reading off a teleprompter, putting on a smile, getting your yeah. tone oh, right, wait, wait, you speaking must to the camera. Smile, huh? Yeah, must smile some more. Yeah. Then must, must must be expressive towards the camera yeah. to engage with the camera. Not easy. Mm-hmm. Definitely not mm-hmm. easy. So that was one of the things I did that was, I felt like, wow, this is not what I want to do, man. Okay, okay. Yeah. We, we, got, we got one very, very important question. Sure, sure, sure. Let's let's read some questions. Okay, for Robert Scott. Mm-hmm. Why don't why you don't consider being a full time content creator since you already have a very decent following on your channel? Wow. Okay. This I is a good, good question, question. Yeah, Rebel yeah. Scott. Well, uh full time I did consider being a full time content creator. Mm-hmm. Uh but because my niche uh in, in my on my channel was doing cover songs. So uh, there's, there isn't a way for me to get my video monetized and earn money because whatever content that I post at uh, the kind of format that I posted uh, would actually let the record labels of the song and get the, money. Yeah, the full revenue from my videos. Okay. So that's why that was one of the reasons why I could not go full time. And mm. I don't think with 20k subs, I don't think that's a, a good career choice. Mm. Uh, especially, I mean, probably if I was much younger, I would probably consider that. But when uh, a lot of other factors like family and stuff come into place, mm. you need something rock solid. Yeah. You know? Uh, yeah, I can do a lot of stuff. I can mess up my, my life. But when it comes to my family stuff and welfare for them, I think I need to consider this yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of people talk about what life mm. balance. Uh, mm. I would say is, is, is we, you have the balance between your yeah, family yeah. and yourself. Correct, yeah. There's a lot of balance needed. Because yeah. this doing being a content creator really takes up a lot of time. I know. A lot of time. I know. Unless you have like, you are very disciplined. Okay, I'm gonna wake up eight o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna start my content creation thing. Okay. Five o'clock, I shut down family time. You know, do that on a daily basis. Then you cross your fingers that you earn money. Really cross your fingers that you earn mm, money. Not easy. Yeah, not easy. Not really easy. not easy. I mean, that that would be nice, lah. You know, but uh, then again, sometimes kind of think about it. I kind of enjoy it here. Mm. Yeah. 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 So it really depends, ah. Yeah. Anyway, that's a good question, Rebel Scott. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Precisely. I, I I mean, it is not easy. Um. Um, content creation a lot of people say hey, like what you say just now mm. you really, oh, wow I made money like, yeah. wow, no la, not really yeah. but, but it doesn't happen that way it doesn't it happen doesn't it happen. takes it's a very very long process uh, yeah. more recently I also realised that I understand the competition aspect of it Yeah. because last time when I was doing it I was the only guy to do it no one else was doing it okay. everyone was doing English songs and stuff oh, like that yeah. no and one was co- doing it wait wait do are the Koreans doing it also uh, right now, yes. A, a lot. Right now, yes. Uh, there's one guy that I recently saw. Mm-hmm. Uh, he also does. He's doing the same thing as me now. He's oh. doing one OK rock, only one OK rock, and he does really well. Okay. So uh, he's he's taking a lot of my subs, which is fine. Like, I think he's doing a really good job. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think there's no competition. I'm not in it for that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. I did it because mm-hmm. I love it. Yeah, so it's mm-hmm. very different. So more recently, yeah, I think of new ways to do stuff without burning so much time. So if you have any ideas. 
mm. put it in the comment section below. Okay, mm. okay. Yeah. Then, then we have another comment. Yeah, um, sure. Oh my god, there's so much love. Oh, Ying Long, Ying Long say like, he put the video thing, uh, the video yeah, tutorial yeah. one. Okay. So yeah, it's in the comment section. You can go and check it out. Mm-hmm. Then uh, have you ever considered that you'll be good if you can create your own tracks for small content creators? Uh, so that they can use them in the content without copyright or DMC strike. Ah, yeah. Uh, actually, I do have some. Uh, a lot of them, I just, I don't know. I I don't do it in a professional level. Um, like some of my colleagues, they they do it in a professional level. Mm-hmm. They create tracks for MediaCorp, Surya. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. Uh, probably my I think for me as a musician, I don't think my standard is there. Okay. Because like I mentioned just now earlier on, uh, I'm a I don't know music theory. Everything is by ear. So mm-hmm. not really a good thing for me to. I, I can create music lah. Like I think some of the city music tracks that you hear, like uh, last year during the NDP, did a cover, mm-hmm. rearranged stuff. You know. Uh, yeah, the tech kind of things I'll do lah. But mm. I guess writing songs probably is not my 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 thing. I don't think I'm good at that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'm good at that. <laughs> but I'm good at listening and li- and uh, and learning songs and yeah. playing covers. I think that's just me as a musician. Um, um, I I guess this is something very very interesting because when I was trying to do some uh corporate YouTube's, I also tried to mm. do my own things. Then mm. I realized, nah, I just go online and buy the track is easier. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah just correct. just spend five bucks. Yeah, and correct. Get it set exactly, exactly. Yeah. I think the time consumed, especially when you're a musician, you try to create music. Yeah. you are your worst enemy. Correct. I encountered that so many times. I, I I guess okay. Um, to be honest, to the video guys are watching this, right? How much? time you spend to edit your video is how much time you spend to edit the music how much time you spend mm. to record to video your footage to get your footage is how much time we spend to get yeah, the tracks yeah. right and that's just like the production part we yeah. haven't gone into the creative part yet correct, correct yeah the creative part is another another thing altogether yeah uh, i mean like for video guys you can video a fat guy mm-hmm. a skinny guy <laughs> a camera i know skinny lah also quite bad already, eh? okay but, but we, we can i mean you guys can video so many objects and mm. so many people and account and create a content but for a musician if you want to write an original content you have to be ins- inspired it's just like yeah. a, a painter yeah correct you, but even a painter can have a reference yeah, i'm going to draw a car yeah i'm going to draw an apple mm-hmm. But for musicians, you can't see I'm going to yeah, yeah. compose a car or compose yeah, an apple. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So so it, it is very very different because you guys have visual mm-hmm. reference. Mm-hmm. We have sonic reference, but it doesn't help. Yeah. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. There's a creative aspect of it when it comes to music that is a bit hard to describe. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you need to be technically savvy as a musician mm. for one. No, that is one thing you need. Yeah. You know, it doesn't mean that I'm very good at writing songs. Then you need to produce the whole songs. Uh, the whole song that will include if you're okay like for me I'm more of a guitarist mm-hmm. okay guitar part okay uh, sub sub water la, no problem <laughs> bass like Ching Fu is a bassist mm-hmm. My, I, I can play bass but I may, I don't know the right technique you know like Ching Fu mm-hmm. you're a bassist you know the proper I, palm you think I, I still the don't proper know, slap, I still don't know right, you know? the right techniques but never mind I know the, pro- the proper <laughs> scales to go you know then you have a keyboard then you need to yeah. know how to play the keyboard then if you need to program drum tracks you need to have a drummer mentality you know, you cannot yeah. be. Uh, I don't know anything about drums, so I I program drums like much. I got eight limbs. You know, doesn't work mm. like that. You have to program drums like really like real human, two feet, two arms. Mm. That's that's the maximum. I hear people program drums are like crazy, like much octopus playing like that. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of things comes into into consideration when uh, writing music lah. Mm-hmm. I think Ying Long uh, actually shared some some uh some of your stuff. things. Yeah. yeah, he's like. So there's an NDP song cover that we did last year. Mm-hmm. Which uh yeah it's kind of cool because the that that the song actually got so much traction. Mm. Then uh CNA actually came here, looked oh. for us, uh, contacted us, wanted to do a video here. Then it was kind of a uh, yeah that was my first project as City Music la. Oh nice. The NEP song yeah so that was one of the things la. Then uh yeah I think yeah Rebel Scott uh, good question uh yeah I think it's a bit tough. Uh music is cheap these days it's thinkful. Yeah. It's no longer like last time. It's easy to go like what you say go online and buy that yeah. one track use it royalty free Correct. there are tracks out there that are actually free for you to use also yeah. one very very good example there's a, this the group called No Copyright Sounds mm. a whole library of audio free for you to use wow yeah free, yeah, free. No, no free just put the name there uh, free. done by who that's all just yeah, credit free. them no copyright song yeah, just, yeah, credit just be a nice guy yeah. so a bit tough la, a, bit, a, bit str- uh, a bit difficult to do mm. la, right, original music unless you're really good la. 
Mm. I'm not the standard. <laughs> 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 okay, thank you, Rebel Scott, for that question. I hope that answers your question. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So uh, okay, during my my whole experience as uh, writing, then I realized equipment how important. Mm. So uh, a lot of things I learned off the bat, just like try and error, try and error. Then when I joined City Music, everybody knew that a specific thing for a specific reason. Mm. So that's where I learned so lah. So my colleagues are here, very nice. They teach me everything that I know right now. Um, so I think for any content creator, a digital interface, an uh, audio interface. Is the most important thing. The one thing you must have, lah. Okay, there's two things you must have: mm. uh, audio interface, mm-hmm. set of headphones. I don't even care if you need a microphone because if you're a guitarist, probably you don't need a microphone. Mm. Like your guitarist, like me, uh, just plug in only. So the main two you will need is audio interface, headphones. Mm. Very important. No studio monitor, no need. It's okay, fine. Okay. But I think nowadays also is in the market you can see a lot of products. Yeah, oh, many. so many kinds, so many yeah. brand. You don't know what kind of get. You know, yeah. then um. I got a lot. We get a lot of customers coming in every day. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of them, they I want to be a content creator. I just started. Mm-hmm. I want to do live streaming. So now, into the equation now, you have podcasting. Mm. You got live streaming, gaming. Yeah. You know, music is like behind already. Now okay. the ending podcasting, okay. live streaming. Like what yeah. we're doing now, live streaming. Yeah, yeah. correct. So like right now, uh, Jingfu, we are using the Zoom okay, okay. P8. So 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 let's 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 just show the what we are using right okay, now. Okay, and then let's okay, let's put us at the little corner. Yeah, so sorry about the cable us. management. Uh, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is no. what it is, lah. I mean, I mean, I mean, we are using the product right now. Yeah. So so you have to see see what's happening, and then it's mm. real. You can see my my fat yeah. fat hands. You see fat hands, mm. and then you see. This is my hands. Uh, uh, okay. Bigger. No, you see, skinny hands means guitarist. <laughs> Fat hand means bassist. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. So, so right now, okay, tell us more about this cool little thing that, mm-hmm. that, that we are using right now. So, okay. So, this is actually a podcast mixer. Mm-hmm. This is the Zoom PodTrack P8. Okay. Wow. So, uh, if you are doing like a lot of podcasting stuff, this is a perfect mixer to use. I mean, there are a lot in the market, but what sets this one across it's how slick it looks. Mm. Okay, uh, you can see. Okay, just point out to you. Ah, uh, right now, me and Jingfu we are connected uh, into the Invicta headset. Yep. We are using this two. Okay, channels okay. one and two. So okay, uh, we had to split the thing because of the nature of the headset. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a microphone and headset all bundled into one. So we are splitting the microphone part into here, okay. and we are splitting the headphone part into here. Hence, we have this okay. wire cable thing going on. Uh. Correct. So the PA is kind of cool. So if I press here, uh, see, let's say uh, Jingfu is, uh, I'm actually channel 2. No, uh, your channel 2. Yeah, channel 2. So channel 2-wise, you've got uh, some options where you have a limiter. Okay. So basically, if I, if I scream in a microphone, it basically helps you not, not to clip. Lah. Mm. Okay. Then your okay. low cut filter, you can increase your, your you can increase, uh, decrease the bass. Then they have your bass and treble. This is your should know lah. Bass and treble. Okay. Then after that, you got your compressor. So you know your voice will be a bit more consistent, right? So all these are already on per channel. So mm. if let's say now I want to adjust my one, I just go to channel two and then I adjust whatever need to be adjusted. If okay. I want to adjust in full one on channel one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing, uh, uh, I'll, I'll talk and then you play around. Yeah, with okay. okay. So right now I'm JF. Uh, you can see yeah. I'm getting softer and softer because of the gain. All right, so let's change my voice a bit, and uh, now you are now a lot of travel. Very very sharp. Mm. So it depends so nice. on your voice, uh. If yeah. your voice is very bassy, kind, you want to add more treble in it. Okay. Yeah, just push it up, lah. But but I don't like. I I okay. You guys don't like it when I'm too trebly, like you all like to hear <laughs> the bass, right? Okay, okay. Yeah. Then uh, what's the last bar? What does it do? Okay, so basically the last bar is a compressor. Okay. So sometimes when we speak on softer things, mm. then we speak loud. They try to balance it. I find a sweet okay. sweet spot, lah. So okay. the compressor, so everything sounds more uniform. Okay, my yeah. sweet spot is your sweet spot la. I think this one quite okay lah. for this sweet spot okay. Yeah, yeah. Can yeah. I? Okay, okay. Okay. So just okay. to show you guys more. More importantly, also I think during every podcast, podcasters, yeah. uh, live streamers, they always spend money by the the Algato, Algato stream deck. Yeah. So Why, uh? as you know that the stream deck only not many buttons uh. Yeah. So if you want to add like applause and everything, you add it into the real estate of your Algato uh, That means you're burning out space eh. Mm-hmm. I'll rather use your Agato right, go and put correct. certain scenes for your OBS, correct? Yeah, exactly. But this one you have your nine pads here, which is okay. all config you can configure. They have default sounds like Hey, Yeah, you got your applause. Okay, you you do boo boo on stream, you can press this. Okay, you do something funny, okay. you can press this. So all these all different sounds. Right, all these sounds can be programmed in. You can actually oh, nice. com- convert all these sounds, put yeah. it into your SD card, pump it into the P8. Mm-hmm. So you have certain sounds you want to put in, you can just put in to customize your, your stream, make it more lively. La. 
no make it more entertaining also lah in that sense mm. uh. okay okay so you got like one two three four five six okay mm. six is usb lah that's not get too technical but you have basically eight inputs there's an additional device you can purchase also is the bta uh bta2 i think yeah BTA okay. too. So this one you can actually Bluetooth audio from maybe your mobile device or maybe from another laptop. Mm. You can play during your stream. Or okay. let's say for example you're doing your phone interview. Mm. Then you can actually use this, connect to your phone, then you can do conduct the phone interview directly. Oh. Yeah. So cool. something like this. So simple. Because I think now uh, the demand for podcasting and the things that they want to do on podcast is so many things now. Yeah. It's no longer just two persons sitting across each other just talking. Yeah, you're also involved in uh, music, you know, phone calls and everything, music, call, correct? Effects, exactly, correct. everything that they want mm. to do, but don't the highest people. They correct, correct, yeah. correct. They want to earn everything DIY. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Then you see that then you got like six different input jacks, uh, uh headphone inputs. Oh so right. yeah, this one is good because if let's say now you have a podcast with more than two people, which I see which is a trend really now, mm-hmm. you can like four people sit down a panel for discussion. Yeah. True. So that means you need four microphones, one, two, three, four. Then you need four headsets also, because you need to monitor yourself. Mm. One, two, three, four. You're covered. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So that's why this this is a uh, portrait mixers. They are meant for podcasting, live streaming. Mm-hmm. They they I think they are also referring to what the podcasters need requirements. Okay. They need more headset outputs. They need more inputs. So all here. Right. Also, you this this uh, P8 actually runs on can run on battery as well. Mm-hmm. Is U- uh, USB bus powered? When I say USB bus powered, that means it can be run. If plug into your computer via USB, it's powered up already. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, kind of cool, uh. I mean, if you have the real estate, it's, uh, okay. This is my hand. Uh. my hand is <laughs> uh, but this is roughly yeah. this size. Uh. Yeah. So this is really useful. Uh, you can bring it on the go for recording as well. Yeah. You can also record directly into your SD card. Let's say, mm. for example, you go out, oh, you need to record something, computer die. Oh. Computer, no battery, somebody forgot to bring the charger. You know? Okay, yeah, no problem. Put the SD card in, record in, go back, yeah. then you edit. Yeah. Also doable. So, this is actually uh, a bigger one. This is the bigger mm. brother. Mm-hmm. They have a younger brother. All right. Then the younger brother is this one. Uh. Uh. Smaller, this is the P4. Okay. Right? So, P4, basically, the, uh, the functionality is quite similar. Mm. But instead, now you only have four inputs instead of eight. Right. Okay. okay. So yeah, very straightforward. This one you don't have nine pads. You only got four lah. You can see the A B C D. Yeah. Here. A B C D. Yeah. This is the four pads. Then you got four microphone outputs as well. Mm-hmm. So this one is handy what for what nothing for this one uh, If you want to go on a go uh, Yeah. You want to go uh, out station to record stuff. Maybe mm-hmm. you want to conduct an interview at a cafe. You know you don't have a lot of space. Mm-hmm. You want something small to travel with. This one good uh. mm-hmm. This is it works exactly the same. Yeah, it just had less inputs and outputs. Okay. But yeah, functionality wise it's exactly the same. Nice. Yeah, cr- so you can also put any kind of microphone that you want, except USB microphone cannot. Any XLR uh-huh, microphone you can uh-huh. put in. Supports phantom power, that means you can put in condenser microphones as well. Mm-hmm. Right? This is cool, right? Yeah, this yeah, is okay. this convenient. Yeah, so do we have any questions? Let me see. Mm, no, we only have City Music posting stuff. Wow. Okay, so if yeah. you guys want to check out more the, about the products I just showed you guys. Okay. Uh, yeah, the, the product links are in the description below. Yeah. Just click on them, check it out. They are there if you want to buy, buy. La. Don't want to buy. <laughs> <never mind. laughs> okay, okay. Okay, maybe I just do mm. a recap, right? Yeah. Okay, so, so, so. Let's switch camera. So, yeah. let, let's go and yeah. let's go and cut to us. All right. Yeah. Maybe, mm. maybe let's, let's on. Okay. Oh, we are still there. Okay, wait. Okay. Yeah. Not very, I haven't used this for a long time. Okay, okay. but okay, okay. Um, maybe just to recap, right? Okay, if, mm. if you are gonna be a content creator, you just need a audio interface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just correct, a audio right? interface. And then All a right. pair of good headphones like yeah. what you are wearing right now. Actually, yeah, this Invicta headphones are. Uh, is you can just get one of these can already. You settle a microphone and headphone problem all at one. Yeah, precisely. Settle and you can hear the the voice quality is also very good. Mm. I hear a lot of headsets. Uh. I play a lot of, with a lot of different headsets. Right? Yeah. The mic always sound very tiny, very very, very thin, thin, very thin, yeah. not full at all. But for the Invicta, I don't know. There's this thing, uh, very full. Uh. Plus, uh, you add it with the P8, you can EQ some more. Mm-hmm. So I got true, a lot, true. I got a lot of uh, doing our city music stream. We got a lot of uh, comments saying that, hey, how come what mic you using? Ah, uh? so we're using the headset one. Uh. Yeah, it's, yeah, easy, it's, uh. it's it's really from us. You can hear that. Yeah, you hear the tapping. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. It's really from the our mic. Correct. So uh, I also got this question uh, from mm. customers who come. Uh, I want to do a live stream. Oh. I want to buy the most expensive microphone. 
you got the Newman one, uh, the five thousand dollars, six thousand dollar one. Wow. Then I say, okay, who are you gonna broadcast to? I think this one also very important. Okay. You need to understand what is yeah. your, who is your core audience. If mm-hmm. you're going to be doing a stream, and a lot of them will be watching on the mobile phone, uh, no need to spend so much money <laughs> on yeah. buying such an expensive microphone. Something like this is good enough already. Mm. Something like this is good enough. You don't need to buy something so expensive. No, uh, there's no point recording super clear quality, uh, qu- quality on your stream but everyone else is watching through a phone speaker. Mm. Uh, it doesn't make sense. Correct. But something like this, uh, very affordable, very cheap. Got two versions. One's a wired one, Invicta Sotori. Sotori, yeah. Mm-hmm. Then we got the Sotori Plus. Yeah, one can Wait, go wireless. Which he's wearing, uh, using right now. Ah, uh, can't remember which one I'm wearing. Uh. Yeah, okay, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wearing the Plus, I'm, I'm, yeah. wearing, I'm wearing something new. Mm. Oh, I see. It's on special. Yeah, yeah. Special. But, 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 but we're, we're getting used yeah, of it. Can you tell us a bit about the one you're wearing? Well, well this is something that we, we are, this is the limited edition gunmetal grey. Well, we haven't launched grey it yet. Grey colour Now yeah. we got white colour, we got the black colour plus, then now we got a grey colour in the works. Yeah, uh, we're still deciding whether we want the make this wireless or make this wired. I mean, you guys can mm-hmm. can put in the comments what kind of thing you guys yeah, like. Yeah, let us know in the comments what let's do you think of this colour. Yeah. yeah. Let us know what you think of this colour or what kind of colour would you like to see. I think recently, last time we got yeah. this thing, this design yeah. your, your Invicta colour and stand a chance to win. I yeah. think some of this, a few people won. Uh. Yeah, correct, yeah. correct, correct. Was oh, this one of the, the uh, colours that people chose? Yeah, the, the other people like the grey, so we, we came uh, out with something okay, like okay, this. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, eh, oh yeah, Tifu, there's another one I want to show you. Uh. So, oh, like, y- even for me as a musician, uh, mm-hmm. uh, something like the P8, we saw, yeah, it might work to a certain mm. extent, you know, but there are some functionalities that probably it does not have mm-hmm. uh, that I would need as a musician. So, the port track uh, series of mixers, they are more targeted towards live streaming, uh, podcasting. Mm. Okay. But now for musicians, if you're a musician on YouTube, you do uh, audio content creation, you actually can consider this one. Uh. Mm. This one is the wow, live the big track. One. Yeah, this one's a bit bigger. <laughs> uh, do they have a smaller one? No, this is the smallest one yeah. as, they, as they come. La. This is the live track L8. Okay, mm. this one very popular. So much so that we got no more stock. Uh. Every sell only gone, sell only gone. Come only gone mm. already. Sometimes haven't even reached the store. Uh. Reached outside here only. Uh. Uh, sorry, no more stock. Huh? Wow, yeah. that's fast. So this one is a bit different, okay? This one is not really made for podcasting, but you can use it for podcasting as mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. It has a bit more features that I would like as a musician, and that will be the effects. Mm-hmm. You know, the effects are there. Uh, you won't have as many headphone outputs. You only got four, you know? But this one also is a very worthy contender if you're thinking about having a mixer board or audio device for audio creation. Uh, podcasting also can la, but I think I think their own podcasting like more nice uh, got the nice big pads and everything oh mm-hmm. yeah that one has uh, also like the, for all these mixers they actually have this live function mm-hmm. so let's say uh, for example uh, we come in a scenario where you have four people talking in the stream correct then mm. they are probably have one or two moderators in the background the moderators can be in the mixer as well but the live the, the stream people will not hear the mixers they oh. will not hear the moderators they okay. everyone in the stream can hear uh, who is at live location can hear, but the people on the other end, which is watching the stream, they cannot hear the moderators. Mm. Yeah, so this is something that the Zoom mixers have that I don't really see a lot of other brands that are doing that. Yeah. So they're very important. This is, this is value for money. Yeah. can do a lot of things, man. Yeah, for audio, you can consider this one. Uh. Wow. Yeah. Then also, if let's say, okay, the other kind of streamer will be the gamers. Mm, okay, true. so gamers, true. of course, gamers, uh, any one of these mixers you can use, no problem. Mm. Uh, but there are some uh, a certain breed of uh, I would say gamers who really don't get enough love uh. mm. console mm. gamers uh. yeah console gamers don't get enough love uh. and I, I sometimes I regret why did I not learn how to use the mouse and keyboard to play games uh? because I have so many options okay right uh, but because my generation was I grew up in the Nintendo sit in front of TV and play with, with a D-pad one true okay? true so yeah I just just from there that is how I game you know mm, mm. and then I played on Xbox I played on the PS you know uh but I always find that there's always a lack of licensing options for hardware. Very little. Mm. Even if the yeah. risk is like super expensive. You know? So luckily Mackie came out with a new uh new product, which is mm. called the M Caster Live. So it's something like this. Okay, this one, right? You can connect to your okay, it's PS5 tested proven chop stamp okay. Can use Wait, wait, how how you connect? So you just connect your USB, the USB C here. Okay. Connect it directly to your PS5's USB. Mm-hmm. It will detect as an audio device. Oh. Okay, so uh, last time when you try to plug funny, funny peripherals into a PS4, right, then they'll tell you not recognized or don't even show up. 
Mm. This one they will tell you Mackey M Custer Life will show up. So this will actually be your mixer. Okay. So you can okay. plug in your chat headset over here at the side. Once you plug in ready, you can add effects. You can add uh, EQing options. You can troll people in the lobby. You can actually put uh, like squeaky voice. You can make Mr. Low voice. You know, you can make Mr. Harmony voice. Okay. All, all can do from here. Wow. So if you're a console gamer, I think this is something that you may want. La. It's just like expensive. Uh, this one, uh, not really. La. Still quite affordable. I don't know what's the price. I think 300 plus, is it? I think so. Yeah, I, I like your your your, so, uh. your affordable meaning. So it's not. So. Hey, now actually, okay. uh, if you talk about gaming, uh, uh. where you got cheap gaming one? Right now. Yeah, Info. True. 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 One PS5 controller is going to set you back 100 bucks. Okay. Correct? Okay. It's going to set you back 100 bucks. All one right. headset. It's gonna set you back no more than hundred fifty bucks, right? Yeah. Uh, this is like entry level one. Yeah. Okay. So to have a mixer board, then stand out amongst the crowd in a lobby. Mm. Three hundred bucks is nothing. Mm. Really, nothing. Less than your PS Five. Cost less than your PS Five. PS Five like thousand mm. two. You still can't get it today. Mm. Mm. So yeah, this is something you can consider if you're a console gamer. This can be used. If you're a PC gamer, this one also can use. So all around the yeah, this is a new product. I think they have another new one coming in soon. It's called the M Custer Studio. I I just saw the PDF just now. Yeah. Mm. Uh, now we now they're having NAM. Uh. So NAM basically they renews to release some new products. So there's a okay. new one called okay. uh, M Custer Studio, which is coming soon. That one we'll update you lah. Wait, how big is how big is that? Smaller or bigger? Uh, I haven't seen the physical unit yet. Okay. Okay. Uh, until the physical unit is here, I play a bit, then I can tell you lah that one. Mm. But I haven't seen the physical mm. unit. Uh. It seems we have the topic on NAM. Uh. Can I yeah, say, 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 Very proud. Right. This is a very proud moment, ah. Uh. Ying Long, if you're watching, uh. <laughs> okay. So okay. City Music has yet again been nominated as top 100 dealers of NAM. <laughs> oh, alamak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we are very proud that uh, City Music is once again uh, nominated as the top 100 dealers mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. uh, in NAM. You know, it's, it's not easy to get that title, uh. But yeah. for many years consecutively, we've been achieving it. So also we cannot do this without the help of you know our our dealers you know and even our customers, uh yeah really very happy that we are still nominated as the top one hundred NAM mm. dealer yeah yeah <laughs> see yeah clap 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 yeah you don't need to clap yourself <laughs> the the <laughs> device will clap for you I mean I mean but but it's not easy to be nominated and not right? easy yeah uh, really not easy yeah to be nominated is one thing. To keep it up is another thing. Mm. No, nominated already. Some people are when they reach there already. Like, ah, okay lah. There already done, been there, done that. But for consecutively every year, we have been there. What's the secret sauce? Secret sauce ah, uh, uh, I think the passion that the guys here have lah. Mm. You know, uh, sometimes you see we you come here we joke joke. You know, like not mm -hmm. serious. Mm -hmm. Uh, but actually that's a draw. You know, I think a lot of customers come here because they don't feel pressure. They mm -hmm. feel that they come here, they they feel that hey. These guys are friendly, yeah. Uh, not here to simlin mm. salesmen on the job, mm. yeah. Uh. No, they true, they, they true. feel like friends here. Uh, I think also the management wise, also uh, they've been constantly giving us training, bringing new products, mm. uh, engaging in social media, engaging with uh, a lot of influencers as well. More recently, I think that helps as well, uh. Yeah, I, I think uh, like uh, for us, uh, being distributors for Mackie, Zoom, and so many other products, uh, even Martin guitars as well, we need to set a certain bar. You know, if you guys don't know, then who know? You know, mm, so true. yeah, that's why we are very lucky uh, that uh, our showroom guys like Timothy. Timothy is like our tech guy. No, really, the team we call him Tim Soros because everything he read wow. manual on, yeah, <laughs> on the ball. Like, I'm oh, so lazy to read manual. Yeah. I'm the worst technically trained guy in the showroom. Uh, but when it comes to, we always help each other out. So like, team is always there. You know, yeah. So yeah, mm -hmm. I think those are one mm -hmm. of the things the bar that we set la, over here. Nice. Mm. I mean that, that that's a lot of teamwork. A, a, a lot, lot yeah, of a lot of teamwork. Yeah. Correct. A lot of teamwork. Correct. Yeah. So now it's like uh yeah, let, let's talk about content creation again, huh? Mm. So yeah, I think uh very important. You need a audio interface, mm -hmm. a good set of headphones. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you're doing a lot of streaming work, you probably want to get yourself uh a decent microphone as well. Mm -hmm. Uh microphone options, of course everybody's favorite is the Shure SM seven B. You see mm -hmm. me on a lot of streams, yeah. you know, but oh, there are also a lot of worthy competitors who don't cost that much. Yeah, you know, one one worthy mention is the Samsung Q9U. Mm -hmm. That was a very worthy mention. Twenty mm -hmm. plus only, quality wise, almost very similar, very close. Mm -hmm. Unless you really want to put analyze the uh, the thing in the door, uh, spectrum analyzer and everything, uh, but it's it gets the job done. Uh. 
mm. it gets your mm. job done. So sometimes also you need to see where your your when you when you're doing streaming, you also it's not just about the audio. It must look nice on camera also. That thing for true. Yeah, it must look true. nice. Eh? Like you don't want some ugly microphone, uh, fifteen dollar buy from Taobao microphone sticking out plastic one. No, you need to have true. a decent one. Uh, this a good looking microphone. Uh, mm. Samsung Q9 looks good. Uh, Sure, SM7B, sure. That's another one, sure. Pun intended. Mm-hmm. Then uh, Zoom also has a, a couple of really good microphones, affordable yep. ones. You don't need to spend a little bit, then get a plastic one from Taobao. You can get the Zoom, mm-hmm. I think the ZDM, the, the, those are not bad. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I use the right? ZDM one. Not bad, right? I, uh, okay, but, but just th- things for you guys to take note, right? Uh, for some of the mics that he has recommended, you need a cloud lifter. Or yeah, correct. Or basically, in, in, in layman terms, you need something that can boost the signal mm. by, by quite a lot because yeah. those guys are quite weak. Mm. And But when you boost the signal, sounds good. It sounds a yeah. lot better. Correct. I've been hearing a lot of customers telling me about the cloud lifter thing for the SM7B mm-hmm. especially. MV7 still not so bad. SM7B, yeah, there are a lot of them. Mm. This one, your one got cloud lifter. Nah. So I told me, like, some more lighter cloud lifter. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you okay. to find out. Yeah. Okay. So, but one thing good, the Samsung Q9U doesn't need one a cloud lifter. Mm-hmm plug in straight go okay. USB XLR all can use mm. yeah so I mean there are, there's I'm not trying to push this on you guys but there are a lot of other options yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, just come in we are just recommending some yeah. of the options uh, I do love the SM7B but the price point puts me off 600 I plus eh? I, 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 I using okay, I think previously I, I did a private uh, mic review session where mm. I tried uh, all the the SM7B and the competitors. Mm, how, how, what so, do you think of it? So I mean, I mean, of course, you know, the SM7B is really a classic yeah, sound. Yeah, correct. Uh, but with the right thingy, without any EQ, mm. uh, when I use something similar to a cloud lifter on the Zoom, mm-hmm. everybody was like, "Hey, there's no difference." Yeah. And and most important thing is that um okay okay if you are in a recording studio, oh, then different story. You can yeah. hear the difference. Yeah, different but different if you're broadcasting this on Facebook different uh the compression and everything right. nah. yeah. by the time it hits you yeah this you can't really tell you can't really have yeah. the difference yeah you can't really yeah. tell yeah I, I think like for those expensive microphones in the still studio environment yes you can hear the difference yeah, yeah a lot of difference but in 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 content creation land or social land you're probably not because you're gonna need to jump through a lot of gates by the mm. time it hits you and whatever source you're watching it on also plays a part mm then yeah you probably can't tell the difference mm. but i mean i mean you can tell the difference if the difference is mm-hmm. very very obvious like for example if let's say you're using like maybe an audio technica that sounds a bit brighter mm-hmm. compared to the sure there's a bit more warm mm-hmm. then the difference will be great yeah correct. but if it's if something tuned very similarly and the difference is just in the nuance once you go on facebook live yeah mm-hmm. or ig live yeah you can't hear the difference mm, correct correct mm-hmm. yeah you're right Okay, so do we have any questions, Zingfu? No, we it seems like you know we have a lot of viewers, but but they are very quiet. They're yeah. just watching the two of us talk. That's all talk. Come next, some engagement, eh? You guys yeah, have any questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys are, are still around, you know, mm-hmm. you know, you can you can ask. Oh, you know. CK Music says hello, Zingfu. Hello, like, no, sorry, CK. I sorry, I missed your <laughs> message. Hello, back to you guys in Malaysia. Truly Asian. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what else do we have. Ah. Huh? Yep. Yep. Oh, you got yeah, Amiru also. Yeah, I'm really Please let us watch the behind the scene video. Yeah. Oh, okay. Behind the scene of what? Of me making video. Ah. Wow, very painful. That one, you can hear me cuss a lot. Ah. Play wrongly only. Ah. <laughs> All vulgarities <laughs> come out, man. <laughs> okay. 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 Let's see. Right. Is there anything else? No? Yeah. Okay. Lah. Can, uh, no more question. Lah. No more question. Okay. Mm. Okay. I guess no th- today is actually quite interesting uh, mm. having like uh, on, on board. Hey, thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. It, it it's very me. rare that we, I, I get to, to co host with <laughs> you. Yeah. And, and it's also very, very interesting because uh, I think every content creator have their own personal journey. I think yeah. our role here, you know, people ask, you know, why is a headset brand trying to do this? Mm-hmm. Well, because uh, you buy a headset not just to play game, but to create content. And mm-hmm. it's always easier when you hear and and you are inspired by the rest of the content creators yes, on correct. their journey because everybody needs to be inspired, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, he he grew from zero to twenty two thousand subs. I'm uh, not twenty twenty two. Uh, I think so. Uh. See, I don't even like really check. Anymore. Yeah, you don't even check anymore. I don't even right? check anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, twenty two thousand subs. I don't on even YouTube. check anymore. Yeah, correct. Uh, I hope that inspire you guys that are watching that you know that he. I mean, he started with guitar playing for his kid. 
Mm. And now he's doing reviews and other fun stuff. So, I, mean, I mean, he's doing reviews and he's doing a lot more things. He's doing some things that he's not happy with. Mm-hmm. He's doing things that he's happy with. I think the key thing is to find something that you love. Yeah, I think that's important. The most important. Yeah. Don't do it because this is the in thing now. Yeah, don't do it. Do it don't because do you it. love it. Yeah. Don't do a TikTok dance because you just want the views. Mm. Do it because you want to dance. Yeah, yeah. It makes sense. Yeah, because it makes sense. Because mm-hmm. when I, I, I was looking at TikTok and you will know when, when people are having fun and you like that. Mm, but correct. if you just feel that they're just doing it for the sake of doing it, yeah, then right, right. no. Yeah, then it becomes a routine. Then, yeah. you know, yeah, right. you're probably going to hate yourself later. Yeah, yeah, just enjoy what you're doing. Yeah, just, just enjoy and be happy. I mean, I mean, I mean, like, recent the hot thing is Uncle Raymond, the, the tall, skinny, lanky guy with the bald hair doing that that that, that song on TikTok. Oh, is it? Yeah, he did, I think, all the way from the start of this year, mm-hmm. or maybe last year until now, and mm-hmm. then now he ballooned, he exploded. In popularity, he yeah. just did the same thing all over again. Yeah, once once you find, once you hit yeah. the right spot, keep going. Or oh, once you do it now, once you keep the just right spot, just, just, keep, just going. keep going. Just yeah, keep going. Just keep going. Yeah. Uh, if there are, there's one of my friends who last time when I kind of like slow down content, mm-hmm. then he there's this one thing that he always tell me, the one less content you don't post is that one opportunity lost for you to make it. Mm. Yeah. So Correct. don't be afraid. Just post. That's Even if it's rubbish. Yeah. Just post. Correct, correct. What's the worst that can happen? Nothing. And the most you just blow up TikTok. Like, what yeah. happened to me? Uh? Someone on YouTube, they cannot see the thumbnails anymore already. <laughs> really? really? No, I cannot oh, already. Oh, okay. You can't see okay. the thumbnails okay. anymore already. So I think there was too much yeah. toxicity going on. True, So true. you can't see the thumbnails anymore already. So just post. Just post. Yeah, just, just post. post. Just, I, mean, I mean, whatever you think is worthy, you know, just don't be, uh, just, just, just do it. Mm-hmm. Like, like I did a short clip on a guy making Romney burgers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he did this. And then it, it, it ballooned to 580,000 no, views. That's a lot of eh? views. Mm. That, that, that's crazy. And, I, and, and all the rest of all the rest of my videos didn't mm. hit that kind of popularity. Mm-hmm. So, so I, mean, I mean, social media can be quite insane. Yeah, yeah correct. Yeah. yeah. You, you will, the videos that will actually balloon and, and grow big is those that this the most you you never thought you happen right? Yeah, correct. The ones that you put as ah, this is not gonna happen. Just put in Yeah, then correct. that will be the one. Correct. That I I, I one. remember like like I was having dessert with Ying Long and Sing Long, mm. and then they were all helping me to light up when I was trying to scoop out this <laughs> ice kacang, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sixty five views, and then I was just yeah. sitting at the roadside, you know, hey bang, Rambi satu. Yeah. Tag. Yeah, correct. You never know. You yeah. never know. You never you know. Never yeah, know. Just, post. Yeah, just, just post. Just post. Yeah. Now I'm uh, actually uh, exploring YouTube Shorts. Oh. So I feel that one. I actually recently just opened another channel. Just uh-huh. try water. That one will be an earn money channel. Okay. That one is okay. like strictly a money channel. So that one, yeah, still exploring what are the options. La. So mm. I think this is a new thing uh, called YouTube Shorts. Mm. Uh, very much like TikTok is YouTube's version of TikTok. Mm. Uh, one thing I like about it is uh, I get a little bit less people who are dancing on screen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a bit more content. Mm. Uh, with TikTok, I don't know. Every time I see you, only I sometimes I feel guilty. Uh. <laughs> sometimes I don't have really feel guilty. Sometimes I stream like, why got Xiao Mei Mei dancing here? Okay. Swipe away. Why another Xiao Mei Mei? Swipe away. Then after you watch your voice, like, am I watching yeah, yeah, flooding. Xiao Mei Mei dancing? Yeah, they are, they are, they are, they are flooding it. Yeah, they're flooding it. Yeah. Uh, TikTok. Yeah, I mean that is that's the thing about TikTok. That is the what they're famous for. Uh, mm-hmm. A lot of people mm-hmm. watch it uh, and Dude. follow also yeah. because of that. Yeah. Mm, okay. All right, all right. So, so we have, we've gone to the end mm-hmm. of our, our interview session with Liner. Thank you guys for having Junkie. me. Thank you, Invicta, for having me. Yeah, thank yeah. you for letting me use the, the really awesome, awesome yeah, headset. Yeah, thank which you. I really, which we really, really love, lah. Actually. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so my so so you guys, uh, if you want to get anything, any code of cool stuff, we just talk about you know drop by CD Music mm-hmm. you know, when you find him or find the friendly crew from CD Music mm-hmm. then if you want to be featured on a podcast you know drop us a, a text on Facebook or on YouTube you know drop us a message you know you know where to reach out to us you know mm-hmm. and then and then let our marketing team review your content and then let, let's see whether we can feature you on the next episode mm, correct. All right. we'll so see until then we'll see you guys don't forget if you haven't seen Smash Prop Junkie before head over to YouTube uh, yep. just search for me Smash Prop Junkie do remember follow uh, like subscribe yep. and follow until like, subscribe. next time hopefully I get some new content up and going on YouTube shorts and until next time thank you guys for having us alright thank you Jingfu you.